What's this person doing? He's wearing a very unusual hat. Oh wait, he's a member of the Queen's Guard. And this is Buckingham Palace. We must be in London. London is the capital city of England and the United Kingdom. It's a very old city that has a very long history, all the way back to ancient Roman times. The River Thames flows through the centre of London, separating the city into two halves. London is the most visited city in Europe and it's not hard to see why. It's a city full of history and culture with many museums, concert halls and galleries. What's this old looking building? It's the Tower of London. The Tower of London is a castle on the banks of the river. It was an important place for the old kings and queens of England. It has been used as a fortress to protect the city. It was also once used as a prison. You can go inside it, but don't worry, it's not a prison anymore. It's now a popular tourist attraction. You can take tours of the castle and see the crown jewels. They even have ravens that live on the grounds of the castle too. Look over there. There's a bridge just outside the castle. This bridge is known as Tower Bridge. It's a very special bridge because it can be raised to allow boats and ships to pass through. When it's down, cars and buses can drive on it. The bridge allows cars to get to the other side of the River Thames. Where are these people going? There are lots of people walking down this tunnel. Oh, this is the London Underground. London has the oldest underground train line in the world. The Metropolitan Line is over 150 years old. However, it has been updated many times since then. Let's get on a train and see where it takes us. Oh look, we have travelled further down the river. What's this big building? This building contains the Houses of Parliament. In the Houses of Parliament, politicians meet to discuss and vote on policies and laws. What's that noise? Oh, it's Big Ben. The building is a very famous landmark on the London skyline. Big Ben is a nickname for the Great Bell, which sits inside the clock tower, from the ground to the top of the clock tower. There are 334 steps. That's a lot of steps. You wouldn't want to do that every day.
just across the river is another popular site, the London Eye. It was built to celebrate the beginning of the new millennium. This is a Ferris wheel, but it's much bigger than a traditional Ferris wheel. From the top of the wheel, you can see all along the River Thames and its many landmarks. You can see St Paul's Cathedral, the Tate Modern Art Gallery and the skyscrapers of the Financial District. This area of London is called Embankment. Embankment is lined with restaurants, museums, art galleries and the London Aquarium, making it a great place to meet up with friends. It's popular with joggers too. Let's go back on the underground. Where are we now? We're back at Buckingham Palace. I wonder if the Queen is in. This is one of the official residences of the Queen of England. You can go on tours inside the palace. What are the Queen's guard doing? Oh, it's the changing of the guard. The guard is the name of the group of soldiers who protect Buckingham Palace. When they finish their duties, they change places by performing this traditional ceremony. There aren't just old buildings in London. There are many modern buildings too. Look at this unusually shaped building. This building is called the Shard. It has this unusual name because it looks like a shard of glass. It's the tallest building in the United Kingdom and is 72 storeys high. It contains several offices, restaurants and residential apartments, as well as a viewing platform. From the viewing platform, you can see across London's skyline. Where are we? There are lots of people here. This is Covent Garden. This area is a popular destination for shopping and dining out. Did you know that Covent Garden used to be a fruit and vegetable market? It looks very different now. Look over there. What are all those people gathered around? Oh, it's a street performer. Covent Garden is a popular place for street performances. The crowd is really enjoying this show. This is Camden Town, an area of London famous for its markets and music venues. It's strongly associated with alternative culture. The Regent's Canal runs through the north end of Camden Town. The canal flows past famous sites like Regent's Park and London Zoo. A boat trip is a great way to see London. We hope you enjoyed our time in London. Please like and subscribe for more Simple English videos.